Okay, cool. Hello, if you're watching this, uh, this is Pilot Dump, and uh, my name is Joe Hospidor. Uh, hope everybody's having a good Saturday night, uh, all things considered. Uh, I know it's kind of a weird time to be doing one of these, and uh, I didn't really do a great job of advertising this because uh, I didn't know if I was going to have the script done by uh, Saturday, and I also was uh, working on some production stuff this week. But good news is I finished the script, uh, and it's ready to go. Uh, the bad news is I didn't know if it was going to be finished, so I didn't take any time to cast anything out. So I'm going to be reading the entire thing by myself. And I think Rachel Resnick is also on, and she said that she's going to also read some parts. Um, so that's going to happen. Uh, I didn't even assign her any parts, so I, I don't even know <laughs> if you want to make up what parts. Am I, Rachel, what I am I reading? <laughs> um, you know, that's a great question. We didn't talk about that before the live stream, and that's probably something that we should have uh, discussed before we went live. But why don't we figure that out right now? <laughs> okay. How about um, when you just get tired, you yell, and I'll read something. Okay, oh, so we'll swap out. Yeah. Like, if I just, I'll just tag you in. Perfect. Sounds yeah, great. let's do that. Um, great. Well, let's just get right into it. I've been working on this script uh, for, I've been picking away at it for a while, uh, and I finally finished the first draft of it. Um, it's really not in my comfort zone. I really wanted to challenge myself and do something that was completely out of what I normally write. Um, so this is a very alt genre uh that i'm used to, uh than i i'm used to writing for so uh without further ado let's get into this uh the name of the pilot it's going viral that's the name of the pilot uh and uh i'll just share my screen and i'll get the script up and we can start this thing uh the share screen buttons at the bottom right yeah, here we go okay cool share the right page and um, I'm going to turn my camera off while I read, if that's cool, Rachel. Yep. Great. Okay, cool. But share your screen first. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there right now. Uh, well, okay, now they just see my face, but... Oh, crap, sorry. How about okay. now? No, one second. Okay, now I we're good. Share. Now we're good. You see that? And yeah. if I scroll, you can uh -huh. go through it. Great. It's all good. Awesome. All right, Going Viral by Joe Hospidor. Cold open, exterior, jungle, day. A lonely marmoset wanders through a lush, blooming rainforest, following the faint rays of sunlight piercing the jungle floor. In the distance, the faint cry of macaws and other jungle life ring out. It looks and sounds like Werner Herzog's summer home. Suddenly, the marmoset stops dead in his tracks and stares. We see the gaping, ominous black mouth of a cave covered in brush. The marmoset stares back at the cave, entranced by the seemingly infinite blackness in its open mouth. Close up on the marmoset as it becomes more and more entranced. A haunting chorus begins to slowly play as he walks closer and closer and closer, drawn into its eye until... <clears throat> the marmoset screams and runs away as popular makeup influencer Trish Andrews, 20s, her first word was Pikachu, steps into frame holding a freshly cracked open can of Pepsi. She sips and stares right into camera with an almost manic level of, of, of enthusiasm. Trish. Every guy loves a good man cave, but what about a real cave? This summer, crank your beast with an ice cold Pepsi Wild for your chance to win your very own cave. Zoom in, cave mouth, sound effects, metal guitar riff with monkey noises and animal roars. It's the Pepsi Man Cave giveaway. Plus, bring an empty Pepsi can to any Six Flags and we'll donate 10 cents to help rehome wildlife displaced by deforestation and abandoned theme parks across America. Shot of panda bear and lion sitting in an old moss-covered merry-go-round in an overgrown forest. Pe uh, Pepsi Wild, roar for it. Trish chugs the drink and stares in the camera. She opens her mouth and a crappy tiger roar sound effect comes out. She smiles. And cut. Trish instantly drops the act and gags as a PA runs on stage, handing her a glass of mouthwash. She swirls the mouthwash and spits it out right under his shoes. This tastes like a Red Bull's taint. Who the fuck drinks this shit? Okay, take five people. Trish, we're going to move on to the next scene if you want to get off book. The crew scatters and resets as the director hands her the script. 
Why do I keep saying crank your beast? What does that even mean, crank your beast? It sounds like something Steve Irwin shouts when he wants the crocodile to jack off on. <laughs> what about let out your wild side? Look, the script's already locked for the client. We can't change it. The director walks off, leaving Trish by herself. Trish reluctantly looks over her pages. She sets them aside for a moment and pulls out her cell phone. Close up on the phone screen, no signal. A sudden breeze softly blows her, blows her script away. Trish looks up and spots it blowing in the breeze. Shit, no, 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 no. Trish chases the script, darting back and forth into the wind right before being, uh, uh, darting back and forth in the wind right before the script is sucked into the mouth of the cave. Interior, cave, continuous. We see Trish's phone flashlight light the inside of the cave as she lowers her head to look around. Her light shines on a dusty patch of the wall, revealing a set of runes. She wanders further in, following the symbols. A tattered, dusty curtain covers a large portion of the wall, surrounded by skulls, daggers, and other threatening imagery. Whoever left it here had a pretty clear message. Do not pull this down. Trish pulls down the curtain. <laughs> Trish gasps. <laughs> oh my god. Close up as we see what Trish is staring at. A square rune with two big eyes is carved into the wall. Their eyes are a deep red, covered with what appears to be dry blood. Trish stares in awe for a moment, then squeals in delight. That is so <laughs> cute! Trish holds up her iPhone and takes a picture, making a noise with the phone. Trish, you in there? We're ready for the next shot. Coming! Exterior, jungle, day. Uh, continuous. Trish walks out of the cave, eyes glued to her phone. Were you puking in there? No. Good. Just remember, if the Pepsi makes you puke, haul it for the PA. That, that's what they're there for. A few yards away, Danny, a PA, is using a water bottle to rinse off his shoes. Danny smiles and waves at Trish. Trish ignores him, admiring the picture of the rune on her phone she just took moments ago. This is totally smash cut to sound effects, three second burst of ominous dubstep bass, title card going viral. Act one, montage, continuous. A montage of four influencers, Chris, 21, 1.1 million followers on Instagram, Darcy Dungeon, 20, 1.3 million followers on Twitch, Palmer, 22, 1 million followers on TikTok, and Sean, 30, 100,000 followers on YouTube, and their various videos featuring titles, comments, and millions of views. Video one, the Bounce House Boys rank milk, 8 million views. The Bounce House Boys stand around a leaning tower of milk cartons. Chris, hey guys, it's Monday, and you know what that means? We're ranking milk, everyone. Milk Monday! Milk, milk, milk. Video two, the Bounce House Boys honor America. 20 million views. The Bounce House Boys stand around a kitchen holding a grenade launcher next to a soldier in uniform at full salute. Palmer, today, we're teaming up with the U.S. Army and Olive Garden to launch an entire bowl of spaghetti into this soldier's face. We're making spaghetti confetti. Loading launcher, everyone chants, spaghetti, confetti, spaghetti, confetti. They shoot the cannon into the soldier's face, who doesn't bat an eye. The Bounce House Boys, truly mailbox challenge, 40 million views. Chris leans out of a car window, taking a video selfie. Shout out to Truly Seltzer and Uber Black for driving us around so we can throw up in people in those mailboxes. Shot of Chris puking into a mailbox. Dungeon Twitch headshot streak live stream, 1.3 million viewers on live. Darcy live streams himself playing Call of Duty. Boom! Headshot that motherfucker's dick off! Quick shout out to our sponsors today, Paddington 3 in theaters this Christmas, fun for the whole family. National Geographic sent us a polar bear, 30 million views. The group films a polar bear in the backyard from a phone. Chris, hey everyone, big news, National Geographic sent us a polar bear, we named it Coca-Cola. Urgent message, please watch ASAP, 50 million views. Chris is taping himself while frantically running down the street. Hey fam, if you're in the LA area, please be on the lookout for a polar bear. He doesn't have a collar, but he will respond to the name Coca-Cola. DM me, we'll follow back. Palmer surprises Children's Hospital with Jabberwockies, 14 million views. Palmer in a hospital hallway filming himself putting on a Jabberwockies mask. Palmer, today I'm surprising this Children's Hospital with a visit from America's number one hype dance group, Jabberwockies. Palmer and the dancers enter the hospital wing. From behind the door, we hear a group of children screaming, child off screen wailing, I just wanted Chris Pratt. Sean learns about being old, two million views. <laughs> Sean sits in a chair in front of a black background as solemn music plays. Sean, I just turned 25. I wanna know what it's like to be old and bald. So I went to a doctor and asked him. Pan out to reveal an old bald doctor sitting across from Sean looking confused. Smash cut to present day, interior Sean's room. 
Sean sits in front of his laptop watching the YouTube montage play out. On the screen, we see the YouTube video description. I learned what being bald is like. 8 million views. Close up of the upload date, June 18th, 2016. Above the browser window, we see today's date, June 8th, 2021. Sean sighs and closes the browser window. He pulls up photo booth and begins recording himself. Sean sighs again and closes the browser window. He pulls up a photo booth and oh, and begins recording himself. That's <laughs> written twice, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, hey, I'm Sean Hatfield, and this is my audition for the Lysol Wipes Halloween campaign. Wipe the fright right off. Beat, been way too peppy. Oh my gosh, what a spooky spill. Sean minds spilling something on the counter and makes an over-the-top scared face. He stops recording, knowing how bad it was. He pulls out his phone and pulls up TikTok. He scrolls through videos of Chris, Palmer, and Darcy, all with millions of views and likes. He opens his TikTok account, 28 followers. He sighs again and starts recording a TikTok. Hey, TikTok, it's Sean Hatfield coming at you with the brand new challenge, Lysol Face Wipe. Sean puts a Lysol wipe on his face and instantly recoils in pain. Oh, fuck, shit, oh, that burns. Sean's laptop starts ringing with the FaceTime call request. He gets rid of the Lysol wipe and answers. Sean's manager, Kyler, late 30s Ivy League, appears on screen. There he is. How's that Lysol commercial coming? Why are you sending me out on Lysol wipe commercials anyways, man? Last week you sent Palmer and Chris out for that commercial for Amazon's new contact lenses that let you order stuff just by looking at it. I sent them your stuff. They just don't think you have enough TikTok followers. <laughs> Why is that a thing now? I mean, did you tell them about my 300,000 YouTube followers? Look, Sean... Can I be honest? You've done so much for the internet. Look, I met my wife in the comment section for Sean Freezes himself for an entire week sponsored by Frozen 2. But, but, you're 30. Look, a lot of these commercials just aren't being made for your age group anymore. It's time to start thinking about wider audiences, like parents or accountants or couples who can't afford therapy but make meal kits together <laughs> instead. Can the light even send me in a hype house if you can't brand me? You're the rock that's kept the Bounce House boys organized this last year. Being in their videos has certainly helped your numbers. Like, plus, they love you. A knock on Sean's door. Chris enters. Hey, asshole. Weekly production meeting. Call us an Uber. Exterior. Neighbor's front yard. Continuous. Shot of an old, slightly run-down wooden house. John Prine's cocks and spoons. Clocks and spoons. Plays faintly on an old speaker from inside. The porch's storm door creaks open to reveal Lyle Henderson, 50s, salt of the earth, could be Nick Offerman's brother, taking a long swig from a mug that's as black as the coffee inside it. He's wearing a faded green shirt, black boots, and what appears to be the only pair of blue jeans he owns. The camera reverses so we see what Lyle's looking at. His lawn, the only one with dead grass in the entire cul-de-sac, covered in truly seltzer cans. Lyle marches on past them and opens his mailbox. He instantly recoils. Interior, Lyle's house, continuous. Lyle paces his living room on the phone, furious. Of course it's vandalism. Someone threw up in my mailbox and covered my lawn in garbage. Look, sir, we can't send a unit out, but 911 doesn't really handle this kind of thing. What am I supposed to call? You're the police, do your jobs. Sir, do you have a description of the assailants? Lyle looks out the window and sees Chris, Palmer, Darcy, and Sean piling into an Uber. One of them kicks a can of Truly back on Lyle's lawn. Never mind. Lyle hangs up, his gaze fixed on the Uber as it pulls off. Exterior, Saddle Ranch patio, continuous. Sean, Palmer, Chris, and Darcy sit huddled on a small patio table across from a large group of friends having brunch. <sighs> I still can't believe they gave the big table to a group of tourists. The, the guy who directed that Pop-Tart Super Bowl commercial I did for BuzzFeed said that table would be reserved under our name every Sunday for as long as we wanted. That was five years ago, Sean. Also, I, I don't think the hostess knows what Pop-Tarts are. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to the video pitches. Um, oh, here's one. Okay, so the Olympics are happening. What if we get a diving coach to teach us how to dive into a pool? The rest of the group groans. Yeah, sure. Then maybe we can get Rebecca Black to dump a bucket of ice water over Palmer's head while screaming, Damn, Daniel. Yeah, we could call it How to Hack Your Millennial Hack Ideas. Look, I'm just trying to give the group content. Look, Sean, we don't need big ideas. People aren't coming to our pages for your jokes. They're coming for us. Kyler only brought you here because he feels sorry for you. One of the girls from the brunch party walks over to Chris. Oh my God, are you Chris King? <laughs> yeah, guilty. <laughs> you want a picture? Uh, yes. Brunch girl hands Sean her phone. 
do you mind? Uh, I'm, I'm Sean Hatfield. <laughs> okay, are you his dad or something? <laughs> Palmer suddenly shoots out of his chair and stands up dramatically. I have an announcement to make. I don't want to make dance videos anymore. The guys stare at Palmer. The brunch girl finishes up her picture and leaves. Palmer, that's all you make. You're a TikTok dance influencer. Chris does pranks, Darcy does gaming, I write and produce. We all stand on camera together, put it up on the internet and make money. I want to do food reviews. Food. You, a dancer with over a million wannabe choreographers following you on TikTok, want to make food reviews. Without breaking a sweat, Palmer pulls up TikTok and begins recording. Hello, my little lead and followers. Big announcement, I'm doing food reviews now. Starting with the toast taste test. Palmer takes a bite of a piece of toast on Sean's plate. Mmm, so toasty. This week, I want all my followers to upload a video telling me about their favorite kind of toast using hashtag toast taste test. Be sure to tag me, love you, bye. Palmer ends the recording. The group stares at him. Don't you dare upload that. Palmer hits upload, bing. Upload what, the best video on the fucking internet? All right, um, now that that's out of the way, I have a big announcement too. Darcy puts an iPad on the table. I bought a drone. <laughs> Congrats, Sean. You're no longer the only dad in the group. Look, this isn't any regular drone. You can tie stuff to the bottom of it. Check it out. Darcy pulls up a feed of the drone in midair back at their house, dangling a hot dog from its underside. Is that a drone dick? Holy shit, dude. This is going to get like a billion views. Sean rolls his eyes and notices something on screen. Isn't that our neighbor? On screen, we see Lyle staring at the drone. He tries swatting it away. There he is, Lyle Henderson. He looks like Smokey the Bear's QAnon uncle. Is he actually QAnon? I don't even think he knows what the internet is. Dude's been off the grid for years. He was the only person in our neighborhood who didn't come to our house's gender reveal party last month. Exterior, Lyle's yard, continuous. Lyle stares at the drone. He looks over at a baseball bat sitting on his porch. Interior, Uber, continuous. As Sean speaks, Palmer looks at his phone as hundreds of notifications flood his screen. His hashtag toast taste test trend is exploding on TikTok. You guys know that I'm only trying to help you, right? Maybe you're just overthinking it a little, man. Mix it up, have fun with it. I know, I just, I need more followers on TikTok. Look, just do what we always do when we want more followers. Live stream yourself sleeping. <laughs> Remember when Uber Eats paid me $3,000 to stream myself sleeping in a tank with the Big Mac in my mouth on 9-11 for their hashtag American Dream campaign? The Uber, the Uber driver, 40s, over this ride, glares at Chris in the rearview mirror. Darcy is glued to his iPad. Huh, uh, the reception on the drone just went out. Slam! The entire car stops as everyone screams. Outside the car, Lyle furiously knocks on the rear view of the car. Chris rolls down his window. Hey, uh, if this is your Uber, you have to wait for us to get out? This yours? Lyle holds up a mangled, broken drone, his other hand holding a wooden baseball bat. Darcy screams like his son has been murdered. Do you know how much that cost my parents? I'm sure they'll manage. Fix the mailbox. Lyle walks off. The bounce house boys get out of the car. Okay, sir, you can't just destroy people's property. It was on my property. Look at the city code. I was well within my rights to defend against trespassers. Look, sir, we're sorry. We were just trying to make content. If you want to come over to our house, we have a huge fishbowl of loose singles thanks to our furry friends at Petco. You can fish out whatever the cost of your mailbox is. <laughs> Lyle stares, trying to understand a single word he just heard. I don't want your money. Fix the mailbox. Lyle slams his door in their faces. How are we going to get my drone back? I just got an idea for a video. Interior, Trish's house, the same day. Trish scrolls through tri TikTok and sees hashtag toast taste test is trending. She pulls up the photo of the rune on her phone. It looks just like a piece of toast. She posts a TikTok of it to the internet and plays the video back. Text the speech voice. Check out this little toast cutie I found on the wall of a cave deep in the jungle. Interior, Melanie's room, the same day. Melanie, a 20-year-old college student at NYU, sits on her dorm bed scrolling through her phone. She gets a new notification. Trish has just posted a new video. She taps it, bringing up the toast video. As Melanie watches, her eyes suddenly go black and her pupils <laughs> turn red, just like the toast. Interior, bounce house, continuous. The bounce house boys sit in their lavish influencer living room, complete with multicolored furniture, branded pillows, teal-colored wallpaper. 
It looks like a very rich and traveled 10 year old designed it. Sean is recording himself with his phone. What's up, guys? Welcome to my new TikTok series, Seanathons, where I try to do something insane all night long. Tonight, I'm sleeping over in my neighbor's house without them even knowing. Sean stops recording and uploads it. Palmer is doing yoga on the floor with a stuffed goat on top of him. Chris looks out of the window and spots Lyle in his kitchen window with a pair of binoculars. Chris takes a picture with the phone and uploads it to Instagram with the caption, that feeling when you open an incognito window. You're just breaking into someone's house. It's content. It's illegal. Look, you guys said I needed to mix it up, so that's what we're doing. Look, I love pranks, man, but this, I mean, what if he has a gun, Sean? <laughs> He's not gonna have a gun. The dude beat a drone to death. Of course he owns a gun, dude. If he owned a gun, he would have shot it down. <laughs> Look, we're going in. Midnight, Darcy and me. You guys stay here and text, up, text us if anything bad happens. Interior, Lyle's bedroom later that night. Lyle lies in bed, reading a copy of Henry David Thoreau's Walden. He closes the book and turns off his light. From outside his window, we see movement. Exterior, Lyle's porch, continuous. Sean and Darcy sneak onto the porch. Sean begins jimmying the lock open. You gonna tell me how you know how to pick locks? Sean uh, clicks open the door. Uh, someone's dad taught me on YouTube. Interior, Kyle's house, simultaneous. Across town, Kyler scrolls through his phone and sees Trisha's room post on her TikTok. Kyler lifelessly drops to the floor, his eyes quickly turning black and his pupils turning red. He wanders outside and joins a mob of red-eyed people walking down the street in unison. Interior, bounce house, continuous. Chris is scrolling through the likes comment section of his binocular man post when suddenly his Instagram stops loading. Palmer, did Kyler forget to pay our cell phone bill again? Suddenly, Chris's phone blares with an emergency alert on phone screen. Social media services have been shut down due to a, due to a public health safe crisis. Please tune to your local news station for more, more info. <laughs> local news? What am I, 50? Palmer enters carrying a bowl of fruit. Did you get that alert about Instagram going down? Ugh, so annoying. I feel like I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, those emergency alerts go off even if your phone is on silent, right? Chris and Palmer look out the window to Lyle's house. They look back at each other, realizing what's about to happen to their friends. <gasps> oh my god, fuck, shit, shit, go, 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 go! Interior, Lyle's house, basement, continuous. Using their phone flashlights, Sean and Darcy slowly walk down Lyle's basement steps. Sean and Darcy shine a light in the room and stare in disbelief. The basement is covered in little girls' toys. Dolls, bears, dresses. It looks like a warehouse for an American doll store and a Toys R Us combined. Dude, I know Lyle's weird, but yeah, this is a lot. Yo, look. Darcy shines his light on the table with the broken drone sitting on it. Right next to it is a spiral notebook with Princess Daddy written in glitter on the cover. Princess Daddy? Sean grabs the notebook. Get the drone, I'm taking this. What? Why? Forget sleeping over here. What if we did a video about how we discovered our next door neighbor has a creepy kid dungeon? I mean, he could be into all kinds of weird shit. People love true crime stories on TikTok. I get so many followers. <laughs> or we could call the cops. Suddenly, Sean and Darcy's phones begin blaring with the emergency signal. They try to silence their phones and can't. Shit, 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 go, 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 go. Darcy grabs the drone and they both dash up the steps with their phones blaring. Sean notices the light in Lyle's bedroom turn on. They quickly turn the other way and run out the front door. Exterior, Lyle's house, continuous. Darcy and Sean run out at the same time. Chris and Palmer run out of their house, all yelling at each other. They reach the front of the houses and stare off in the distance. The camera reverses to reveal chaos. Fire and smoke dot the horizon. In the distance down the hill from their vantage point, a few crashed cars are spotted. But that all pales in comparison to the massive mob of slow-moving, stone-faced people slowly soldiering towards them down the road. The boys all stare at the horizon, stone-faced, then simultaneously take out their phones and begin recording their reactions to the chaos. Hey guys, it's Chris. Yo, it's nuts. This is Sean. Hey, it's Palmer, and it's absolutely crazy. Darcy here, brought to you by the U.S. Marines and Peter Rabbit. What in the hell is going on? End of Act 1. Act 2, Lyle's house, continuous. The silent mob lurches closer to the boys. Do you guys know anything about this? Instagram's down, there's no way to know anything. Maybe it's just a silent protest. Chris steps forward. We support you! Probably! Where, where do you guys stand on guns? Blam! The boys wheel around to see Lyle holding a kel KSG-25 tactical shotgun that just fired a round off into the air. Darcy stares daggers at Sean. Okay, so he owns a gun. If you want to live, I recommend standing behind me. 
hey, sir, maybe we stop firing off the guns until we get a better handle on the situation. <clears throat> While Isle f- fires off another round into the air, a few members of the silent mob begin walking towards their cul-de-sac. Then more, then more. Look, what are you doing? This isn't St. Louis. They're not protesters. I just turned on the news. Apparently, some idiot turned people into whatever these things are with some sort of Facebook video. That can't be right. Nobody watches Facebook videos. Sir, just out of curiosity and no judgment, did this news station happen to be Newsmax? PBS. Gentlemen, what we've got here is a classic Dawn of the Dead scenario. I'm planning to go inside, holing up in my basement, and hunkering down until we can figure out our next move. You're more than welcome to join me. No, no, we don't want to go into your basement. <laughs> Not that we've ever been there before, but no. Guys, uh, they're getting closer. A small part of the silent mob is now in the cul-de-sac. The group runs to hide behind Lyle, who aims at the stalkers and takes a deep breath. <sighs> I've been waiting for this day. Blam! Lyle shoots a stalker in front of him and completely misses. Blam! He misses again. Blam! And again. Have you ever shot a gun before? <sighs> My grandfather was a pioneer. He taught me how to shoot before you were even born. Blam, blam, blam. Lyle hits a car mirror on the last shot 15 yards away. The guys can't believe it. Sir, how did your grandfather survive <laughs> the Oregon Trail? One of the stalkers grabs Chris, who sees his face reflected in his blood at rise. Oh, oh, shit, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Palmer holds his phone recording the video. I'm trying, it's stuck in portrait mode. Put that gun, you idiot. Lyle shoots and misses again, but hits a can of Truly on his lawn, sparking a fire that catches the stalker, burning him instantly. It falls lifelessly on the dead grass sparking a fire that spreads quickly shit get to the bounce house go go the fire spreads and starts burning lyle's house the entire mob starts heading towards the light as lyle and the boys run into the bounce house sean stops wait oh maybe we shouldn't let lyle in what on earth are you talking about that man's house just burned down yeah but we don't really know him and be a human for once sean (laughs) chris pushes lyle through sean lets him in still clutching the notebook in his pocket alexa lock door Nothing happens. Alexa, lock door. The door locks. Oh, my Alexa just went off. <laughs> so did mine. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Every it's... single one of my Alexa uh, went off. Okay, we're good. Just max the lock door. Door locks. Ah, Jesus. Interior bounce house continuous. Lyle stares out the living room window, watching his house burn. A YouTube live stream of the news plays in the background. Sources say the image, originally uploaded by Trish Adams, has been taken down from TikTok, but not before nearly 20% of the U.S. population saw it, largely in part to a trending hashtag, hashtag Toast Face Test, <laughs> uploaded by TikTok influencer Palmer Johnson. Palmer shrieks in delight. <laughs> I'm the new Everyone stares at him. What? I didn't cause the end of the world. They said it was that other person. Don't shoot the trendsetter. Good thing that pool's separating our yards to stop the fire from coming over here. <laughs> I think you tried to stop Target from building it for us. It's an HOA violation. So is having a burning lawn. My guns, my gear, my rations, they were all in there. Toss, Chris tosses Lyle a package of food. Relax, we got food here. Lyle holding up the package. This is a packet of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> yeah, there are cheesy snack packs. We eat them all the time. This isn't food and it's expired. Lyle opens their fridge to reveal a full stocked fridge of Truly Seltzer. Oh, we only keep Truly Seltzer in the fridge. Why? It's in the contract. They own the house. How much do you guys pay in rent? (sighs) That's a rude question. You're right. How dare you assume we pay rent? Your parents pay that for you? No, our sponsors pay it. We work for our roof, and I'm waiting to hear what you're going to contribute. Lyle thinks for a moment. I'm leaving. Okay, no, you're not, because you'll literally die if you go outside. Sean, what's the problem? Lyle's a good guy with a gun. I didn't even know those things existed until today. Okay, first off, Lyle can't hit anything with a gun. Second off, you're only saying that because he accidentally burned his house down to save your life. So, you literally just broke into his house an hour ago. Sean winces. I'm sorry, what? Clang! A stalker smashes through the sliding glass door and grabs Sean. Everyone screams. Sean wrestles with the stalker. Shoot it! Lyle grabs a pistol on his belt. Everyone yells at him, no, no, stop, no, no, don't burn our house down, too. Sean reaches on the couch for anything. Another three stalkers enter, piling onto Sean. He grabs the Apple TV remote and begins bashing the skull of the stalker, causing a YouTube video to change on screen. A video of a guy getting kicked in the nuts starts to play. The stalkers stop and turn toward the TV in trance. Sean gets up. What the? The stalkers stare slack jawed at the video, not moving a muscle. It's as if they're frozen. The video ends. The stalkers come back to life and immediately begin attacking Sean again. Sean tosses the remote to Palmer. Try another video. 
Tom starts a video with an eight with an ad for Truly Seltzer. Look, hurry! Hang on, there's an ad. Another video starts, this time of a cat jumping onto a ledge and falling off over and over. Again, the stalkers stop and stare, mesmerized. Sean pulls up another video, a bit Jimmy Fallon lip sync compilation. The stalkers actually laugh and cheer as the video plays, still slack jug. Holy crap, they don't want flesh. They just want content. This is perfect. <laughs> All we have to do is cube some YouTube playlists, keep playing videos, and the power goes out. In the dark, the stalkers start to growl, then scream. End of act two. Act three, interior bounce house continuous. The stalker's growls grow louder. Suddenly, a phone screen lights up with a video of Martha Stewart making risotto. The screaming stops. Interior bounce house hallway continuous. <laughs> in the darkness, Sean walks backwards, cradling the phone, playing Martha Stewart in his hands. The stalkers follow in front of him. The rest of the group follows behind him, with Darcy still carrying the broken drone. Why do you have a video of Martha Stewart on your phone? My mom texted it to me and just got saved in my phone somehow. Also, it's a really good risotto. Sean reaches, uh, leads the group to the door and quickly opens it, leading everyone inside. Uh, Rachel, do you want to take over? My voice is killing me. Sure. Interior, bedroom, continuous. Martha Stewart's voice faintly drifts through the other side of the door. The room is illuminated by Lyle's tactical flashlight. They make lights without the phone? That's cool. Please stop talking. So, just to clarify, there's no electricity, which means no internet, which seems to be the only thing to keep those things entertained. That video is only going to hold them off for about five minutes. we got to think of something quick. How are we supposed to entertain these, those things without the internet? Palmer holds up a DVD. I have a season five and six of The Real Housewives of New York on DVD, but I haven't owned a DVD player since 2010. What if we made our own video? I've got an idea for one. It's called Princess Daddy Exposed. Darcy, start filming. Sean takes out the notebook he's been holding and puts it in Lyle's face. That's right. We went into your weird little girl dungeon. We know you were hiding kids things down there. And we know you wanted us to try to come over here to turn us into little princesses and make you a part of your fucked up kingdom. The power might be out, but the power of justice, that's a light bulb that never goes out, my friend. Lyle stands there not reacting at all. He holds up the notebook. That notebook's my daughter's. Lyle opens the notebook to show a picture of him dressed up as a princess with a small child. She lives in Arizona with her mom. I set up that basement for her to play in when she visits. She hasn't been able to visit yet because her mom fought for full custody and won after the community college I worked at closed their carpentry school. I wanted her bedroom to be ready by the time she came over. Lyle walks over to the broken drone on the bed and begins smashing it violently over and over until it's been reduced to wires. He looks back at Darcy. Why are you still smash cut to exterior bounce house night? recording me a video of lyle smashing the drone is being projected onto the side of the bounce house to a herd of stalkers watching intently behind them the bounce house boys and lyle sit with a projector and a laptop rigged up to a car usb charger sean turns to lyle as everyone else watches good thing you had a usb charger for your car sorry i thought you were a pedophile and that your house burned down you were doing what you thought was best for the group that's what a leader does what about your house? Shot of from behind Lyle, we see a smoldering pile of ash where Lyle's house was. I'm just trying not to think about that. Plus, none of the stuff in there would have helped save us anyway. You seem to know what these things want. Palmer walks up. Hey guys, we probably can loop this video one or two more, one or two more times before they get restless again. Got any other ideas for a video? Zoom in on Sean as the group looks at him expectantly. Uh, me? Uh, okay, um, we could dance on top of food and try eating it after everyone stares at sean or we could do something else i'm open end of episode tag exterior road day a car pulls over on the side of the road after noticing a hitchhiker holding a blood covered selfie stick it's trish the driver a pleasant looking guy in his 20s opens the passenger door for her trish climbs in where are you headed honestly wherever you are today sucks so much Tell me about it. I was on a road trip with my folks when they turned into what... Whatever those things are. Whatever those yeah. things are. That's awful. Where are they now? Trish turns back to look in the back seat where two older stalkers sit glued to their iPhones. One holds one up to reveal baby pictures. Mom, stop showing people my baby photos. Shot of car driving down road. A side read in Los Angeles, 300 miles. End.
Yeah, Yay. that's it. Cool. Yay. Uh, I don't even know who's watching, but I'm glad that this got out. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing this really quick, so I think it's going to go back to me. If I no, it's my right. it's my face. Now it's uh, you. <laughs> why, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. This got finished very quickly. Uh, it's just the first draft, so I'm glad that it got to get read in some capacity. Uh and uh, if you're watching and you have any thoughts, feel free to hit me up uh, on Facebook or on Twitter um, or Instagram. What about TikTok? Uh, huh? TikTok? I don't have, I, I guess I have TikTok. I don't really use it though. Only give him um, notes on TikTok. Yeah, specifically make a TikTok video with your notes. That, that I think that's the only way I, I take literary feedback now is just via TikTok, the only format. Um, but yeah, thank you. And thanks, Rachel, for coming in at the end and for also doing tech for this. This was really cool. I appreciate it. Cool. Um, I don't know if anyone's watching, but if you are, thanks for sticking around and spending 40 minutes with us. Um, enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, yeah, be safe out there. It's stupid right now with all the COVID shit. So yeah. All right. Bye. Good night.